And just like that, Boat Like Opinions is back for another season with a renewal without your permission whether you want it or not. And welcome our Boat Like Queen, Alexis Mateo. Hi, Alexis. Hi, um, oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my God, sis, you look so intelligent with those glasses. Oh, thank you. It's because I am Mama You. I am a little bit more experienced than, you know, yeah. these queens are coming up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my God. Boot Like Opinions. I'm so excited about UK. You know, like I have watched UK seasons for the longest. Looks like it's going to be some good show, baby. How are you feeling? Do you like UK? Yeah, I've always enjoyed, I think, UK a little bit more than the regular seasons um, since right. I would say season 13-ish maybe. Like season 13, and that's when I felt like I had grown a little bit more love for UK than the regular seasons. But um, right. yeah, let's find out what this season has to offer. So what do you think the theme for this season is? Oh for my the promo God. looks? Okay, so when I saw the Meet the Queens and the commercials and stuff like that, I was like, okay, this this are all, all over the place, colors and styles. <laughs> but you loved them, right? It was very bad. I didn't say I loved the looks. I said I liked UK, I liked the okay, bunch of girls. Okay, cool. I didn't like the looks. No, you know what? Um, I didn't get it in the beginning, but it's kind of like an assortment um, box of chocolate theme going on right here, right? So everybody likes candy and yeah, why not? I mean, they run out of yeah. ideas already, so let's just be <laughs> <laughs> Because it's usually pastel right. for the American seasons, right? Mm -hmm. Pastel or neon or color blocking for the American seasons. Right. And then for the UK, I believe, oh girl, the first season, remember, they just tell them to show up whatever look. Right. Um, and the UK is usually like hometown or something that represents where they're from. Uh -huh. So I have a Patreon, I don't know if y'all know, but someone commented in the Patreon and said that the category for this promo look is dance costume ready to lip sync for your life, which is not very nice, but <laughs> it is still kind of funny nonetheless though. But I do agree with you that the theme for this promo, I feel like it's almost like a assortment of like, you know when you go, this is not like a read at all, like when you go to like a party session, a party section of the store, you see the gift wraps, you see the metallic shiny paper, you open that box of chocolate, you know that paper that's inside, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Ready? like. For a celebration, a birthday, anniversary, something. And it's not a read. But it's, you know what? I kind of like the candy theme now that we are entering Halloween-ish, kind of like fall. So let's meet these queens. Ooh la 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 la. Let's do this. I'm always waiting to the day after Halloween to go and buy the candy, but I guess, um, yeah. UK is gonna give it to you now. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Surfshark, where you can change the location with a click of a button. What is Surfshark? So I don't know if you know or not, where you live affects what contents are streaming on your services, ranging from movies, documentaries, TV shows, and more. For instance, our friends in the UK, Canada, Australia, or anywhere in the world cannot watch what we watch and vice versa. With the Surfshark, you can change the location and access all the contents that you deserve. Wow, that's amazing. It is absolutely safe to use, even on public Wi-Fi. And with one subscription, you and your friends can use it in multiple rooms on multiple devices with just one subscription. That's so cheap, girl. Oh my God, I'm gonna sign right now. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link below and sign up at Surfshark with my code to get three months free. Plus, there's a 30-day money back guaranteed. Alexis, let's see what our friends are watching. Wow, that's a lot of missing content that I didn't know exist. So we first up have Alexis St. Pete, who also shares the same name as you, and she's serving you tangerine, mandarin, and also orange mama. To look at how orange she looks. <laughs> <laughs> as orange as Coco Montrez. She is the OG queen of orange. Okay, let me tell you, this girl, the silhouette, she got the body. Even though I can see this in a performance stage, it's giving me vibes of who she is as a drag entertainer, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, I am expecting this girl to be one of those girls that turned a party in a lip sync situation. So yes, this is that kind of girl to me. At first glance, you know, I don't, I don't know her personally, but this is what is giving it to me. Because she is wearing a dance costume, because category is lip sync for your life dance costume. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> this look, I kind of enjoy, but the thing is, I feel like I've seen so many variations of this look already especially with Drag Race Philippines, where everybody was kind of wearing this kind of silhouette and shape and kind of material. So when I see this, I'm not that excited compared to some of the other queens that we will have coming up, but she does look good from the chest up. 
I like the hair. I like the makeup. I like the two pieces over here. But as far as the, but as far as the panties go, I don't care for the solid uh, panties. I wish it was matching material as the rest of the outfit so that there's cohesion and also it connects the look together a little bit more. And the bottom, I wish that it was boots instead or connect from the thighs into the knees and then into the shoes as well. I don't want that disconnect. And the two pieces of fabric were two pieces of fabric. <laughs> Okay, honestly, this looks like a last minute look put together. Oh, bitch. <laughs> like, I didn't want to say it. I thought you just said she was serving. Girl, it's okay. This is bootleg opinions, baby. No, I like her silhouette and I love that she's giving me performance. But you look at the look and you can see a lot of different pieces that you can match with other things, you know? Yeah. The biggest issue with me is how long the crush looks. I don't even care for the panties orange. I just feel like that's the long puss, girl. Like, I hope it's not like my eyes with me. You know, I'm older already. But this is a long crush. I remember Kahana Montrese when she started in season back in the days. Um, she used to have a long crush too. I remember those days too. Thank God she grew up out of that. Also, her bra used to be up here, girl. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> But yes, we love you, Kahana. I do agree with you. The face is lovely. The hair I do like. Um, I like the performance vibe. This is giving me that this is the best look for a promo. I don't think so. And yes, we have seen this before. Um, Alexis, don't be scared to speak the truth because I don't know if you know, Bootleg Opinions has also received a nomination for a Wowie. Yeah. Because of how good our show is. We better win because this is good. This is a good. Show. And it's all produced by your mother self. Thank you and God bless. That is true because we have nobody to pay out. <laughs> Everybody's on strike. <laughs> Do you want to introduce uh, who's next? Next up is The Real Banksy. Next up, The Real Banksy. Hold on, pause. That's just her Instagram handle. Her name is actually Banksy, sorry. Next up, Banksy. The official Banksy. You know she's like seven feet tall, right? Yeah, I saw Meet the Queens because I'm a prepare queen. <laughs> Even when you start looking at it, you go like, okay, this gotta be tall as And then she confirmed it. Mm -hmm. She is 7.9 feet tall. In drag, she's 9.74. I mean, this is Godzilla. <laughs> that sounds like a price, $9.74. <laughs> and the price is right. It is $9.74. It is crazy. <laughs> I love it. Would you know I love a good gown? And I think this is a beautiful gown. I love that she looks really tall in it. I think she's the mm. only girl that can pull this look out. Um, mm -hmm. The rouging and the stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It could be cleaner in places like the hip. See-throughness of the dress because you kind of see the undergarments and stuff like that. But I think it's beautiful. I think it's a little bit high fashion. And I love the Jesus Christ reference that she has with the crown, the blood of rhinestones. I love everything about it, including the hair and makeup because she kept it like mm -hmm. minimum herself. But it's very nice put together. I kind of love it. Do you like that? Yeah, I like it too. It's one of the ones that actually stood out to me. I didn't really get Jesus Christ from it, but now that you mentioned it, I can see it. It's ah. exciting. We see different tiers of materials put in together. And then we see also different dimensions of the tool being played in different directions as well. So we see the ruffles at the top. And yes, I do agree with the hair, it being a little bit more high fashion because it mixes art and also a little bit of religion in there. I also do agree, I feel like I'm just saying what exactly we just said, except I'm paraphrasing. Um, I do agree with you around the hips area. I think that she could have added more layers to cover it up because now we do see a Barbie and- There's <laughs> nothing wrong with a Barbie Yes, because- But we see it. <laughs> but overall, I do like this look and I'm very jealous that she's very tall because I am five foot three and three quarters <laughs> and I could always use a few more inches. But for anybody, can you always use a few more inches? <laughs> Can't relate because I'm a top. <laughs> On top what? <laughs> On top of the world. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up is Caramel. Ooh oh la la, baby. God. She is ready to slay and fight just like the Gladiator days. Baby. I like this look. I also think that there's art and some sort of fashion blended into the top as well. I believe that she's trying to go for a nude illusion. And then she, we also see like the slime of the metallic being dripped onto her. The extravagantly long ponytail is gorgeous. Yeah, I think this is fine. Is it exciting? Not that exciting compared to the other one. <laughs> but this is better than the first one. Right. You know, okay, the first time I saw it, I was like, this is 
Thundercats meets Avatar, mm -hmm. hands down. Like Avatar meets Thundercats. This is awesome. Really like the simplicity of the goal. But then I kind of like got a disconnection with the shoe. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, a, did you manage to put the pantyhose through your toes? Kind of look like mm -hmm. when your toes are killing you already because you have been on your pantyhose for a long time. And you say, let me cut the pantyhose and put it between my toe. <laughs> it looks like this was kind of like yeah. throwing me off a little bit. I wish it would have continued into the shoe. Um, the other thing that I don't like is... Um, the corset section of it was a short torso, you can tell. And right there after your rip, it starts to come out and it kind of like yeah. throw me off again because her torso is longer than the mannequin torso. I mean, this was a little bit of disconnection moment. But I knew the idea and if it was executed better, I would have given her a good 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 critique but this could have been a little bit more polished and done but her face and makeup is gorgeous and the ponytail was killing me girl because you know i like a good ponytail of course. it was long i don't know if it was in a wire mm -hmm. <laughs> but girl was not moving and it was gorgeous i love it in the words of alexis mateo the wig is always the cr crowning glory the, is it crowning glory it is crowning the glory crowning <laughs> glory the hair is always your crowning glory don't forget that yeah, Don't the face is it. so gorgeous. I yeah, think that gorgeous. when she was sitting down for Meet the Queens, it translates a little bit better on video yeah. than on photo. Because I feel like in photo, even with the brace that's on her arm, it just seems like a different shade of gold. And then everything just kind of washes out together, I feel like. We don't really see a lot of the details. Yes. You know. But we love it. It's a good look. Okay, next up is Didi Liches. Didi Liches. Didi Liches. Didi Liches. Is she delicious? You be the judge of that. Let's taste her. Turn her around. <laughs> okay. Delicious. First glance, when I saw this girl, I was like, I have seen this girl in every season or every franchise. I don't know. Something about it gets me like Lucy LaDuca, you know, like it's kind of like Trixie mattel -ish. Like I see how some resemblance of other girls put together in one good oh, okay. look. It also bothers me that when I was on season three, and we're not gonna talk about this real fast, but um, listen, the breastplate breast was <laughs> like the no-no of everything, and then now it's in. After I got rid of mine. Oh, can I say that I loved it when you wear your breastplate? Can I tell you that? Really? Yeah, what do you mean really, girl? I'm a very inclusive person, and I'm also a very progressive person too. Yeah, I like the <laughs> breastplates because I feel like, <clears throat> You know, oh, it, because it's almost like just wearing pants, you know? Right. And no, a corset. So what's wrong with accentuating the body, too? No, as long as it's done what? in good taste and not mocking women, then I'm all for it. But you were showing it off in a positive way. I thought it was sickening, but I got read severely for it. But anyways, um, here goes. For me, it's a corset look. Mm -hmm. Like, normally they build a look out of a corset. What I really like about the look is that it's well put together. First of all, let's start with the color. The color is gorgeous. I love the lace, the floral details on it with the rhinestones and things like that. And I love how exaggerated the shoulder pieces are. Mm, this is sickening to me because it frames your face. Yeah. I wish her hair was pulled back or pulled up. Because you have so much stuff going on in your shoulders that it could have been a beautiful neckline right there. But other than that, I think from head to toe, from the shoe, from the skirt, from the fitting of the dress, the way that the breastplate fits, baby, because this is fitted to that breastplate, is gorgeous to me. And her makeup is flawless. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that breastplate is not just any breastplate. That breastplate, it's very Amanda Lepore, baby. It is gorgeous. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, it is perky, perky. <laughs> yes, and it's winter in the UK, honey. Um, I do agree with you about the hair. It's just three pieces mm -hmm. that I see. I do wish that it was pulled back so that we see more right. of the details of the shoulders. I say this almost every video when I see the hair like this. I do enjoy the lace on the shoulders and sequin dripping around the trimming. Very gorgeous. The necklace... Perfectly done because we have seen breastplates before where you're wearing a breastplate and then girls just kind of throw a necklace on. It's like, girl, it has nothing to do with the look, right? But she does have a necklace that's made right. from the same material as the shoulders to match the look. And then going down, we see a corset with the details. Uh -huh. The shoes is great. We see also the details matching there as well. As far as the dress and the piece that's coming down, I think she could have pushed it even more because this whole look from top 
to the hips area it's so regal and grand that I think that instead of doing just a piece of fabric draping from one side to Bye. another blow it all out yeah it's the drag show it's bigger drag more show, fabric sweetie. go bigger go home and me and you can both relate <laughs> You know what I mean, right? But we're still here, baby. We're still here looking gorgeous. That's what it matters. Yes. But yeah, no, this overall is actually really good. I like this. Yeah, I like it. I like it, I like it too. All right. Next up. What's her name? How's Ginger Johnson. Johnson? Next up Ginger is Johnson? Ginger Johnson. And when I Ooh. first saw this, I saw the hair. And it kind of reminds me of Just May from season four. And mm -hmm. I have to say that she is giving us executive. She is giving us smart girl. I do enjoy the hair pushed to one side so that it's not just like every other queen that we've seen before. I do enjoy the pleating and then we see the buttons coming down and also the same pleated material that's on the arms as well. As far as the shoe goes, doesn't match with me. I think she could have gone with purple. And I think if she wants to go in the route of like very fashion, I would have done pants straight down instead of tight pants so that it looks a little bit more, <laughs> you know, red carpet and promo. Because this, it just reads, um, uh, lip sync. Mm-hmm. I'm glad. <laughs> You're glad. Good for her. Because I did not like this. Good for her. Good I for her. I don't like this at all, girl. Like, you know, honestly, let me go find my goat. Like, now I have this cabra, you know? It's horrible. Here comes the cabra. <laughs> <laughs> what the f*** does that have to do with anything? This is how I feel like when I see it. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Just go and This is 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 not cute. I don't want to I don't want to destroy her but here we go. <laughs> it's okay. She's been doing drag for a long time. She can handle it. She has No, okay. Skin. So, yeah, if she's been doing drag for a long time, she should have known that this is a no. -no. <laughs> okay. Honestly, um I have a few of my friends that turn to do this looks when they do drag because they don't want to shave either their arms or their chest or things like that. So normally they have what I call the scuba diving look. It is head to toe cover and it's kind of difficult to pull. It bothers me because she doesn't look like she has a neck. Like the neck <laughs> is hiding somewhere, girl. It is not in the picture, honestly. Um, the ruffles, I don't know. It reminds me the inside of a cascade and nobody wants to be in it. Um, this is just horrible to me. Like the coloring, the purples are not even matching. I know. The <laughs> pants look short to me and the shoe is, was the real shoe not fitting well or painful? I don't know what, something is not right about it. Honestly, the only thing I like about this picture is her makeup and hair and that's about it. I like the top, but I think that if we change the pants to uh, the matching color and material as the top and hide the shoes because they're long pants, I think it would have done it justice. I think it would have been fine, but... This makeup and hair with some another dress, another shoes, another accessories would have been a hit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Start from scratch. All right, oh your turn. My God. Another homophobic look. Oh my God. Next up, Kate Bush. Mama Kate Bush is serving us blue. Yeah, you like blue. I can tell. You like blue. No, oh, it's just because I'm too lazy to change the backdrop, girl. It's too <laughs> heavy. <laughs> I've been having this color for the year and a half. There's a lot of ideas here, you know? For me, there's um, no idea, to be honest. <laughs> lots of them. It, it, it's just weird to me. Like, I either like it or hate it. And I, um, what I really like about it. <laughs> Other than that is blue. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, start, start, because I cannot do it. Go. I don't like it because I feel like there's no focus point. Right. There's not much of an idea. Maybe there is, but it's just not executed correctly. The makeup, it's fine. It's very, like, in the angry inch. The blue, we see three different shades of blue, which is fine to play with different shades of blue, but they're all placed in different areas of the body that doesn't give her a body. For instance, we see the dark blue over here. Cool. And then she asks this lighter pattern of the blue with the white over here and over here. Why? <laughs> and then we see a half skirt around her waist, another type of fabric. It looks like velvet on top of it. Huh? Right. I don't get it. Um, this looks like Yeah. You know like you know you know like when when you're when you're doing a drag performance and you're doing like a very like 
sad song. So like, <laughs> this is the look you wear. You're like very sad and like broken. It looks like she's gonna take the first layer off and have a swimsuit that is gonna be a dance costume. I don't think so. But it's not. I don't think so. But it kind of looked like you're gonna reveal something. Like the two peplums, I don't get. The uh, matching sleeves, I don't get. It's either one sleeve or not. Like it's a curtain fabric print in one side. Yeah. I don't know if the pants are satin or not, but it's giving me like the ruching is like weird because it looks kind of like not so well. Yeah, because satin does tend to do that. I mean, this is not cute. The only good thing I have to say is that she does look tall. This makes her look so tall, so I do like that. Other than that, it's a no for me. I don't even like the hair, girl. Like, curly and it's rooted black. <laughs> no time for the hair salon Never to mind. cover the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Michael Maruli. And I like the hair. I like the mm -hmm. shade of the green and how shiny and metallic it is. But Ooh. going back to... Uh, the previous look, the first look that we saw, it's kind of like that vibe where I feel like it needs a little bit of editing mm -hmm. because we see the shiny material, right? very street fighter, very armorous, very night. And then we see the showgirl fringe at the bottom, which I don't get. Right, very confusing. And then we see this fun camp at the top, which is beautiful, <laughs> but they just all don't go together. It's like three different oh, things going on. Yes, it's giving me a remaster slash poison ivy. Mm -hmm. Um, if it, this is her character... So far, we've only liked one thing, yeah. one person. <laughs> that was a seventh <laughs> If it, this is her character and she's that spooky, kind of like, costume girl, I like it. But if it, this was something she was trying hard to pull it on this look, then I'm not gonna like it. Because it is very costumey. Again, yes, it's a lot of editing that needs to be done. Especially on the shoulder section, like, Again, no neck, girl. Okay, I like separate pieces like you do. Like I like the corset matching the boots. I like that. Um, I feel like the gloves were a last minute add. And then the shoulders with the red roses and the snakes and stuff like that is just a little too much for me. It becomes Willy Wonka-ish and yeah, I don't know. It's weird. So it's a no for me. Let's move on, girl. Same. There's feathers okay. there too. What? It's it's a lot, but yeah. You see the feathers, it's right? French and rhinestone feathers, roses, like what is in the hair? I don't get it. I unfortunately gonna have to give this a no, unfortunately. But I do like it from the neck up. Yeah, and I like her. She's cute. Yeah, she's cute. Naomi Carter is next, baby, and she is looking like something. Something? <laughs> is that good or bad? <laughs> Okay, again, it's the same situation. I do like the simplicity of a cat suit. I like that the cat suit continues all the way to the floor. I mean, it's connected. It makes her silhouette long. I mean, I like that. I just feel like the jacket, the purses was a little too much for all this. And I think she's like a fan of Beyonce because it kind of gave me Beyonce vibes. I hate the colors. I hate the colors. This in black would have been gorgeous. This in any other color, red, who cares? But the green is weird. The fur looks cheap. And I know she was going for like the caramel kind of like candy box theme. It's just not giving it to me. What do you think? Um, I think <laughs> just like one of the previous queens that we talked about, I think this look looks better on video right. than in photo with it open. Right. But going back to when she was sitting down, I do enjoy it because I see that there's a beautiful bodysuit that gives her a beautiful silhouette that goes all the way down to her shoe. There's details and thought process put into the shapes with the stoning and how the way it's cut out at the top. And then we also see like almost this off the now jacket that's being worn and this hair is gorgeous and this color is gorgeous too that's mixed together in video. But when I see it in photo, maybe it's because I'm from season 10. It does remind me of Monet Exchange sponge dress with the color coronation. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But I do like this, honestly. I do like this. I like the cat suit. I feel like the jacket was unnecessary. But other than that, I think it was cute. I just feel like it's a lot of shit happening. <laughs> I don't know what editing would I have put it like in a classic way. Yeah, and she's been doing drag for a very short time too, and to look this good, good for her. Her energy is awesome, and I'm excited to see her too, because I can tell she's a great performer. We also thought that Charlie Heist was going to be a good performer, because she has oh, been doing yeah. drag for a long time, and then... 
<laughs> and then the lipstick happened. It's like, girl, give us nothing. Like nobody thought about that. We love Charlie though. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Tamara Thomas, and she is looking like a gift, baby. A gift wrapping paper that's straight out of the movie Barbie. Why are you laughing? I like this look. Do you like it or no? <laughs> it's just your presentation skills are shady sometimes. <laughs> How is that but shady? <laughs> I was complimenting her. Okay, so. How is that shady? Honest, first of all, no, how was that shady? First time I saw this look, I was like, this is garbage. <laughs> But then... And then you saw everybody else's and you were like, oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> no, like... I'm just kidding. First of all, it's very fun. Mm -hmm. um, created. Mm -hmm. And it does fit her gorgeously. Like, she has a beautiful mm -hmm. silhouette. She matched the color deem. She really matched the chocolate deem, the box of chocolate deem. Yeah. I love her pullback hair. And I love the simplicity on her makeup as well. And I love that she didn't need anything else than the wrap paper around her waist with a bow to sell this look. It's no gloves, it's no drama, just matching shoes. Everything is simple and well put together. I kind of like that. Yeah, it makes it very fun. Yeah, I like it too. There's a focus point, which is the middle with the bow, right? There's a matching theme in the hair, and then there's a matching theme in the back because she does have a ginormous bow in the back. Though I do wish that she takes the two pieces in the back down even more so that there's more of a regal impact. And then we also see the bows and the shoes as well. And it kind of does match the theme that it's going for, which is very celebration, very gifts, and ready for the holiday. Yes. Great job. And I also really like one more thing too, is the hair a different color so that it stands out. Right, it's awesome. A beautiful job. Probably the cheapest one. <laughs> yeah, she did great. <laughs> Looks gorgeous. You know, I also appreciate this. It almost looked like Drag on a dime, but done really well. Right. Yeah, I hope they have a design challenge, and I hope she wins that one, too. Next up, Vicky Vivacious, looking stunning in baby blue, Tiffany blue, or whatever you want to call it blue, and ostrich feathers galore. What do you think? Start you. Let me hear your opinion of this. Do you want to hear my bootleg opinion? <laughs> yeah. The show that got me Give nominated me. for a while. <laughs> Give me your f***ing opinion. Also known baby. as a Campbell soup cup. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know the gift is a apple soup, right? <laughs> but anyway, seen it before, but I will say that it is clean and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I do like the feathers and the hat. It's huge, the hat, so it frames her correctly. It's also proportionalized for her height as well. Because we have seen hats before where it's really tiny and the wig is so big and then it's like, what the f what's the point of the hat? I also enjoy the feathers on the arms that connects it into the trim of the dress. And the dress is very folly. Right. I love that. I think it's unbelievably well put together because she kind of look together from gloves to the dress to the hat. In pageantry, we call it clean. This is a very clean look and I really like it. Yeah. And I love that everything was worked out like the way that her hair falls in one side and the hat is going to the other. Like this is a very well put together look. The only thing I have to say about this is, uh, cause you know, I always have to that? say something. The lip liner uh, exaggerated, kind of give me a comical take on her look. I don't mind it. I just feel like she looks very glamorous and it, she could have pulled it completely off. And if she's a comedy queen, she could have fooled all of us, you know? Cause I would have been like, oh, she's, she's like, look girl, she got money for feathers. She got, you know, like things like that. But she do look stunning and I love the color choice. Tiffany blue always go well with anything. Like my eyes. Yeah, maybe this is, you know, like sometimes you see a look, they look gorgeous in the promo, and then every other <laughs> look, they walk down the runway, it's complete garbage. Ah, yes. You know what I'm talking about? This could be her. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, oh, when you see the promo look, you're like, oh, that is the queen to watch. Oh, That's the bad and then, wah, 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 wah. Like, I don't know. I don't want to throw any names. Like, <laughs> Poppy, season 15, her promo looks stunning with the pink, and then every look, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But anyway, out of these queens, who is, how many queens there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, I forgot her name already. What's her name? The one with the red dress. Uh, I forgot too. Let's look it <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take uh, us a little while until we learn their name. Yes. It's 175,000 new girls. Did you see that? photo of all the queens that have came out within the last few years. So the first 15 yes. years is just this little, but then the rest of it yeah. came out within the last three years. It was easy to find me. I was in the top. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, the two first roads. That's about it. Yo. Oh, uh, my favorite look is literally Banksy. I thought it was stunning. I can see this in the cover of any magazine, and I think she's a statue. And I'm excited to see what else she brings to the runway, baby, because this was gorgeously done. Um, my favorite that I didn't really have that much notes about, I would mm. say a pick between Banksy or Tamara, but I think I'm gonna give it to Tamara. Tamara was great too. I mean, these two girls were neck and neck. I love it. I just feel preference on a gown. <laughs> I would have gone for Banksy, except the whole middle section threw it off for me. That was what she wanted to out, girl. You don't know. Some of us like to show our Now that we review all the looks, I still don't get the theme. <laughs> UK is going to be good regardless of, so we're going to watch it regardless of. Except UK versus the world, you know, that we don't brag about, you know. But UK, I do enjoy it, and we're looking forward to seeing it every week coming this fall. Woo! Bye, Alexis. Thank you so much for providing your bootleg opinions. Thank you so much for matching my dress with your hair, sister. I love you so much. Of course. I don't want you to write me down because you always say that I wear flat wigs. So, you know, this is for you. No, you look very good today. You look intelligent. I will take you very serious after today. Thank you. Want to hear something intelligent? What? Alexis Mateo is a and that is a true fact because I'm smart. Where do you read that? <laughs> <laughs> and the research papers at NYU. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, squirrel friends. When one video ends, just click on another one. It's called cringe viewing. Go ahead. I support you.